Fuzz for seconds out with, with uh, the fresh Jason Wellborn. How are you? I'm alright, thank you. It's good, good, not bad, not yeah. bad. Um, JJ Metcalf this weekend. Um, when it, we're just over six months on from your, de- your defeat against Jared Heard. What have you, I don't want to say what have you learned from it because obviously you're a seasoned campaigner, but yeah. what, what, what did you take from the defeat? I took obviously keep obviously it was a it, do they have three world titles on the line and you know what I mean I've uh, I've done it the hard way and I've been on a f- few big shows and I had a, I had a good I had a good run last year but uh, it was a it was a it was a dream come true but it, it also can get to you know, the pressure and everything but I, I deal with it well and it was just obviously the frustrated part when I thought I did have him. Uh, I squared up and it was one shot or changed the fight around and that's the difference in elite levels and then kind of fighters. I thought I had him and then obviously there was a couple of, couple of low blows before so I looked at the corner, I lost my head, squared up and I caught, I got, I got done with it, you know what I mean, that's what cost me the fight so I was more frustrated after the fight, I was even achy, nothing after the fight so it was a lot, my legs was aching more coming back on the plane, you know what I mean, so at Christmas time, I was like, it took me that hard to get where I've got to get. I've never had like my room or front row on the back on me. I've done it from small hall bills. I've, I've, I've done it the hard way. That's why I know I deserve to be here. I'm a full time pro and I've got to get everything when I can out of this sport while I'm still in it. And a Commonwealth title would be nice to just get back, get back, and get back onto winning ways. And there's some big fights out there, like, you know, the likes of Liam Williams, Liam, that can be mid. These fights can be mid and Frank Warner's the man to make him on a good bill. And I'm ready to fight anyone. But um, the bigger the name, the bigger the title, the better Jason Wilbur I'm going to say. You've only been a full-time pro for, is it two years? Two years, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, obviously, we, we've, noticed, we've noticed a difference in your career, yeah. a turnaround yeah. since you became a full-time pro. Yeah. But on a personal level, what's... What's changed? I think obviously being a full time pro and having the camp and having a fair camp and obviously jumping in the forwards notice and stuff like that, that you, you could do it at this level. It's impossible. I thought you could, but you could. It's rest, train, everything's working. It's my lifestyle, the box at the minute. And even from LA, we've gone straight. But I had a couple of months off just ticking over. And then we had the date about 12, 10 weeks. So I've had a good training camp for this good 10 weeks solid. And everything's gone well. I had a hand injury last year. Um, it's perfect now, it's punching nice. So we still won them fights with that hand injury. So it, personally, my, with my boxing, it's, it means more to me and more to my family. It's my bread and butter, as well as I've got my business on the side. Like, so I've, got, I've just set up, I set up Christmas time mask. Uh, well born skip and a grab oil services right in the West Midlands Dudley. So um, that's in the pipeline but I know I've got a few more good fights left before we call it a day so it'd be um, be nice to get this Commonwealth title and see what see what is out there because I've had I've had I've had a chance at that uh, level and I adapted well. So in this country a big fight it could, that can be made and I think um, I've got that in me to uh, perform and Obviously, from the fan side and Frank Warren side, on that excited fight, but people want to play and see. And uh, it's took me this hard and this long to get here. It, it's uh, it's amazing. And uh, the last two years, my fight career has changed. And obviously, personally, I lost my mum as well. Um, a sudden, sudden death. And obviously, she knew how hard I had it as a boxer. And I've been at home upset, thinking, why am all these getting shots and I'm getting nothing? So, after losing my mum, Things started putting, coming together. You know what I mean? So I look back and I think, she ain't here, but she's putting things my way in the path. She knows how hard I worked and she loved the boxing. She took me as a kid. So everything's right there, and obviously, with that in mentality in my head, going into the ring, there, there ain't no stopping me, like, you know what I mean? I oh, know there's someone up there looking after me, and she's putting it in pictures as well, me and you today. So um, I've just got to keep working hard, and um, she's doing what she can do for me. And what sort what sort of threat do you think JJ can pose towards you on the night? It's a mess. I've been in with everything, pressure fights, everything. I've been in with everything, so um, if he wants to come and fight, we can fight. You know me? I'm, I'm just going to get in that ring and adapt. Whatever he's got to bring to the table, I'm ready for. You know what I mean? So um, 
I'm, I'm ready. And uh, I can't get no more ready. Yeah. It's just obviously keeping switched on and keeping focused. That's what I've got to do. And not get caught up in the silly. That's, that's, that's the thing, because anything can happen in boxing. Obviously, JJ, JJ said in the press conference that he's had uh, he's had a couple of frustrating years, and you mentioned about frustration earlier on. Yeah. Um, do you think do you think you it's a bad time for you to get him because because he's looking to take that frustration out on someone? No, no, well, I've got, we've all got frustration, you know what I mean. We're all going up, and everyone's got a bit of frustration, but that's. So with hand injuries and stuff like that, he's got a he's a professional. He's got to be he's got to be using other things and working around other things. You never go into a fight like that. I thought if, I, I wouldn't have fought three fights last year if I had a, I had a bad hand, cortisone injections and everything for defending my British title. If you don't fight, you're in that predicament and you will be frustrated and time down time passes you. So I fought with injuries. You have to sometimes to get the wins, you know what I mean? But um, whether I had him now or I had him in 12 months time or I had him last year, means no different. He's still the same fighter time. He's still what he's got to bring to the table. Um, if he's got his hand in and he thinks it's all right, let, it, let, it, let him think. But um, I'm just looking at a win. I've got nothing against him. I've got nothing against him. But whoever's in the room this Saturday night, I'm looking to win. Brilliant. Cheers, Jason.